closer to home tonight, the prices of just about everything are going up with people feeling the most pressure at the pump and of course the grocery store. And it's probably not much of a surprise that local food banks are also feeling that pinch. Our Isabel Lawrence tells us how they're still supporting hundreds of thousands throughout Northeast Ohio. At the Greater Cleveland Food Bank, things move at a fast pace and they need to to keep up with demand. Uh, last year we served over 343,000 people. Um, so we are still serving more people than pre pandemic numbers. There's no sign of demand going down, all while the costs of food and gas are going up. One extreme example, a case of green beans before the pandemic started cost us about $9 a case. Um, that cost has now increased to about $19. Typically, the food bank gets federal and state commodities and donations, then buy whatever else they need. But now... We're not getting as much uh, from the federal government, from the USDA, and that's something we're really concerned about. And so what we're having to do is turn around and buy more food. That dollar isn't going as far as it typically would pre-pandemic. The Akron Canton Regional Food Bank is feeling that same pinch. These supply chain issues that are existing in the grocery industry are spilling over and resulting in fewer food surpluses available to food banks while it's making the food that we can afford to buy on that rare occasion more expensive and it takes longer to get it here. But food prices are aren't the only problem. Rising gas prices are forcing people to make impossible decisions. People that were already struggling between paying their heating bill and buying their kids shoes and prescription drugs <laughs> and getting food uh, are now being strapped with these significant fuel costs. And if people are spending more on gas and less on food, they may be leaning on food banks that much more. There's going to be a huge surge in people coming to food pantries with gas prices at $4 a gallon in Ohio. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, it sure is. And the CEO of the Akron Canton Regional Food Bank told me that one thing that really would help would be if government leaders were to authorize more money for the emergency food assistance program. That would really help food banks respond to this increased demand. But if you at home are in a position to be able to help and you'd like to do something, you can visit the websites of either of these food banks. They have opportunities there to volunteer and to donate, Laura. And I know we'll have those on our website, WKYC.com. Isabel Lawrence is live for us tonight. Isabel, thanks.